Hi guys, it's Elise from The Painted Brush & Co. I'm here today with baby Oliver who is assisting and I wanted to show you how to apply clear wax and white wax which I haven't shown you guys before. Uh, well, sorry, I've shown you how to use clear wax but not how to use white wax. So I want to show you two different ways. Um, this is my first time using white wax but I figured why not show you guys as well and you can come along on the journey and if this video ends up being a complete flop well I just won't post it all right so I'm going to come down here so all I've got here is two um, these are just plaster home decor items I haven't painted the back so you can see it's just plaster oops um, and one's been painted in grayish essential botanics uh, grayish which is a really beautiful it's almost a purple and the other one has been painted with a custom mix. This is greyish um, and a couple of other blues that has just created this beautiful, beautiful blue that I'm just completely in love with. And I'm going to have to paint this blue onto another piece now. So I've got my Essential Botanics Clear Wax. Um, clear Wax, it looks yellow in the jar, but it goes on clear. I've shown you guys how to use this uh, previously several times. And my other wax is the Lessential Botanics White Wax. This is my brand new jar. I have never used this product before, but I'm so excited to. I've used uh, black wax, or sorry, the black luster wax before. And I've also used the dark wax before. But this is my first time using white wax. White wax looks amazing over just about any colour. It gives so much definition without it looking dirty or old. It just, it just softens the colours, which I absolutely adore. So I'm going to be applying this two different ways. On one piece, I'm going to be applying the clear wax and then the white wax. And then on the other piece, I'm going to be applying the white wax only. I don't know how this is going to work. I've never done it before. But I figured if I show it two different ways, let's see what happens. So I'm actually going to apply my clear wax to um, this big greyish one. Alright, clear wax. I've shown you how to apply it before to a piece of furniture. This is no different. I didn't do any prep except for cleaning these pieces. These have been just really well cleaned because they're quite dirty. They've been in the garage for quite some time. So I just gave them a really, really good clean um, and then painted. There's no other prep. The paint has stuck beautifully. It's not coming off when I scratch it. It's it's done really, really well. So if you've got a piece like this, paint away. All right, I've just got my wax brush here, which I now carry. Wax brush, load it up, and away we go. Shh, Oliver. I'm just gonna wipe that on. And you can see the round brushes are perfect for this sort of thing, because I get that wax right down in there. Okay, my husband just came home and took the child, so I will continue. So, brush is loaded up, got our piece, and you can see where the wax is going on. It darkens the paint a little bit, and these round brushes are fantastic for getting in all those grooves. I'm not being overly gentle about it, I just want to get it on. Almost on. Just work that brush, get it in all, all the crevices. So this wax, it will protect this finish perfectly. This is a piece of home decor. It's not a tabletop. It's not going to be used a lot. Or it'll be used. It'll be on display, but it's not going to be like a heavy used use item like a piece of furniture. Um, so I love waxing home decor. Okay, so I'm now on to the next piece. You'll notice I've got two different brushes here. This is one of my brand new tapered wax brushes. I actually have a different brush for every color wax that I use. So I've got one for black wax, um, which I also use for the black luster. 
I've now got one for white wax, which is this one here. I love the tapered end. It's just going to let me get into all those details. Um, somewhat easier than what this one will, but one of these brushes with the flat ends works just as well. So, brand new wax brushes on my website now. Got my white wax. Now this is just the plain white. There's no luster in this at all. There's no metallic uh, sheen to it. It's just white wax. And I'm just going to load the end of my brush up. So you saw the end of my brush. Work it into my brush a little bit. I'm not putting heaps on it. Can you see that there? There's not heaps on it. There's just enough. I've got my piece here all freshly painted. These were only painted... Um, a couple of hours ago. You don't have to wait any particular time frame for the paint to cure or anything like that. Just go for it. As soon as it's dry, you can start waxing or top coating, whatever you're doing. Wax is on. Let's give this a go. Now, as I said, I've never used white wax before. Look at that. Look how beautiful. And this piece is just so soft and feminine. It's a lady holding her little dog, which I think is just adorable. This is a brand new brush. Losing a few hairs when it's brand new is completely normal, so don't worry. It does stop. This one shredded, shedded heaps of bristles when I very, very first used it. It's completely normal. So don't panic if your brush does start uh, shedding. Now I'm actually covering this whole area. I want it all over and I'm actually getting a little bit more in these sort of in all these crevices I want a little bit more. More thumbs today. All right. So all I've got here is a lint-free clean cloth. It's just part of a Chuck's cloth. And I'm just going to gently wipe this back. I'm not going too heavy. I don't want to remove it all. But you see that it's just removing all that excess. And it's just making... Okay, splinter emergency. Shall we continue? So, all I'm doing is rubbing it back. And I love, this is give, given it like a really aged look actually, which I love. Now the wax has had about five minutes to dry, which wasn't my original intention. But, it's actually helped. Well, I'm rubbing it not as much as coming off. But it's giving it like a really nice satin finish. But anywhere where there's excess is still coming off, which is what we want. I'm not rubbing too much in those crevices. I really want a lot of that to remain. Because I just want to make it really pop before it was sort of just blending in a bit. It's just made it look really artistic, hasn't it? Around the edges. So now this piece, I'm actually just going to sit aside. Wax can take up to 30 days to cure. And all that means is it's dried and it's hard. So it's not just going to wipe off like I'm wiping it off now. There we go. Actually, I just want to put a little bit more up in here. I just feel like a bit too much of that has gone come off. And it, oops. That's better. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Look how much that detailing is just standing out. I'm actually going to rub her eyes a little bit because she looks a bit demonic. Okay, that's better. Look at that. It's almost made it look like it's old stone. And if it was a grey or even a black, actually, I think it would look like an old stone. That. Look at that beautiful. Alright, so we're set back to the first one again. I'm just going to turn that all... Oh, no, that's worse. The sun started to go away. Sorry. 
Alright, I'm just going to keep using the same cloth that I was using for the white wax because I'm putting white wax on this anyway. And I'm just going to give this a little bit of a rub to begin with just because it's had that clear wax on there. Just to remove any of that excess. I'm just buffing it slightly. Just enough. Alright, so this one has had the clear wax applied to it. That was about 10, 15 minutes ago now. And I can feel it. It's gone quite tacky. Um, but it's pretty... It started the drying process, which is what we want. Alright. So, our white wax again. Same brush. Hang on. Let me get rid of the hair out of it. As I said, it's completely normal for brand new wax brushes to molt. Completely normal. So, I'm really, really going to load up my brush and just start rubbing. Same as last time. This piece has heaps more. All these little areas. It's just got, it, it, they're quite a lot deeper. And what you can do is you can keep laying the wax. So just keep applying it until you're happy with it. You don't have to stop at one coat. You can come back and put more on it. Um, you can come back and put a different colour on it. My brush there. Grab my cloth. Same cloth again. And just start rubbing. And this is just removing the excess. And it's actually coming off a little bit easier than what it did on the other piece. So the clear wax just makes it a bit easier. You can also use the clear wax, I believe, to erase it a little bit, which we might actually have a trial of in a second. Just so I can trial and see if it actually does work. Heard it work, so we'll see. I'll wipe it down her neck a little bit on her skin. I more just want to keep it in the dimpling just to add a bit of um, dramatic effect to it but and on her lips and her mouth let me bring that closer see yeah I'll stand the camera up a little bit so you can see look how beautiful that is so I'm just going to add a little bit more up here to her hair and up on top here as well because I seem to have missed that just before. I'm just adding more to where there's heaps and heaps of detailing. I really want that white. Highlight her jawline. I'm just sort of splotching it on. I want it quite heavy in some spots and quite light in other bits. I'm going to apply heaps more in there. Same up here. I quite like her eye as it is. I just want a little bit more there. And you can just keep doing this. Keep applying it until you're happy with it. We'll put it down here. I'll put it up here. And I'll face the camera back down so you can see it. You see right? Hang on, I'll hold it up for you guys. So you can see the white in there. There we go. This is just this has just got the excess clear wax on there. Look at that. It's just removed all that white wax. So yes, you can undo your mistakes. I just wanted to test that out. Now I'm actually gonna go back and add more white wax to it. Because I do want the white wax on it. Again, just wiping it gently. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm incredibly happy with this. These turned out a hundred times better than what I thought they would. So there we go. White wax applied two ways. Super, super easy. Um, I'm very impressed with them. I'll take some photos, pop them at the end of the video. Um, and I will see you all again soon for the next tutorial. Bye guys.